Hey, it's Heather from Tiller. Today we're going to show you how to create a chart like the one you see here, which is displaying my fixed and living expenses for 2016. So we've talked about how to create pivot tables before, so I'm going to really quickly show you how to set up the pivot table to get the data that you see here in this chart. Um, the pivot table really just gets the data set up for us, and then we can insert the chart really quickly. So first we'll start out on our transaction sheet here and we'll select all of the data in the transaction sheet by clicking this square in the upper left corner and then we'll go ahead and choose data and then pivot table to get our pivot table in there and we can set up the rows to display the categories we'll set up the columns to display the months we'll add the values which will be the amounts so for each, it'll sum up each category by month. And then for this particular case, I only want to see the data for a few of the categories, so more of the fixed expenses that I have, like my rent and my utilities, my gas, my cell phone bill, things like that. Don't really want to see the discretionary spending. And then I also only want to see data for 2016. I've been using Tiller since 2015, so I'm going to exclude any of the months um, from 2015 and 2017 so I can just have 2016 data. So I'll add the filter for category and then I'll go ahead and I'm gonna just clear all these and then I'm gonna select the ones that are more fixed for me such as cell phone, gas, groceries, health insurance. I only wanna see my spending so I'm gonna skip the income. I'll choose my rent and my utilities. I'll click OK. So now you can see my category list has been shortened. I'm going to add that filter for the date, um, So for the, but we want it for the month column. And then I'm going to go ahead and clear all these. And when I type 2016, it's going to filter and pull in only the months from 2016. I can click Select All and we'll quickly choose only those 2016 months. So now you can see I have starting in January 2016 all the way to December 2016. So now here's the fun part where we get colorful. I'm going to go ahead and select all of the data in this chart except for the grand totals data. So I've got all my data selected and then I can choose to insert a chart. And it's going to give me this configuration screen here that gives me some different chart options. I particularly like the stacked bar chart, that's the horizontal chart, it's very colorful and it's a good way to kind of analyze my spending across multiple categories for each of the months. It's the easiest way to digest it. So now that I have the chart here, I can arrange it on the sheet just below my pivot table. I can then further customize it by changing the title here, so I'll say spending for 2016 fixed. I can also update the left axis and the um, horizontal axis. So this is going to be the month and then the horizontal axis is going to be the amount. So now I can really quickly see from 2016 where I was spending the most money across these more fixed type of categories. I can update this sheet to say monthly spending 2016. One thing to keep in mind is that if you want to play around with this and, and look at some different categories, you can easily do that by changing the um, filtered categories here. So let's say I also want to look at auto. Okay, so now I have a new line added, but you can see that it's now excluding the utilities from my chart. So I'm going to need to go in and update the range and so you would just do that by clicking the advanced, getting into the advanced chart editor. And then I just want to update this range to include the row M8. So now once I update, I have utilities. So you can do this for, you can change the months out, you can change the categories out, and you can really slice and dice it any way you like. You can also, as we mentioned in the blog post, if you want to see more than one chart, um, so if you want to have one that's just for your fixed and then you want another one just for your discretionary, you'll need to create a separate pivot table. You can do that by copying and pasting. Select the entire pivot table. You can copy it. Let's say we just copy it right down below here. Then I have a brand new pivot table and I can come in and I can update 
um, the various categories for this to give me a brand new pivot table and then I would just use the same steps to insert a new chart. Alright, I hope that's helpful. Thanks!